Hello nerds and welcome to 4 Nerds Gaming. My name is Keelan and today we're playing some more Haunting of Ethan Carter. Or, not Haunting, uh... Disappearance of Ethan Carter, maybe. Good lord, what's the name of this game? I don't know. Something about Ethan Carter. So, last left you, I was trying to figure out this little puzzle here to figure out what happened to this dude. And I haven't really figured anything else out. I move this train back and I get the cool sound. So I thought I would just do a little more exploring. I'm just assuming this is all there is to this puzzle, but there may be more. So I want to start looking around for more clues, things to inspect along the way. Oh, and, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look right there. So rocks, fresh dirt. Fix. Fix? Oh! That's the rock that I found. That, uh, I found this on the previous episode. I found this rock that on the ground and it's got blood on it. And I think it's probably used as a murder weapon, but this is where that he got the rock. So I'll put that back. Now let's see if Mr. Homeboy Dead Dude can tell me more information. I think I'm kind of reconstructing this scene here. Maybe. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, give me some more information, guy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, ooh. Okay. Is he gonna get up and talk to me? I am no longer in control. This is really cool. Oh, now, okay, now I'm in control again. Okay, so we see what may, may be the the, uh, the murderer holding the crank in his hand over the dead body. Yep, it's an old man. Then we see, oh man, a boy. Is that Ethan Carter there, standing over the over the body again with the same dude there? Maybe maybe he just. Maybe he found him? I don't know. He may not be the murderer. I don't know. Let's see what else we can figure out here. So we're like walking in a memory now. Okay, so is that our victim? That's our victim, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, he's a hero. This boy was tied up. Somebody was going to kill this boy. And this guy got him out of there and maybe got killed in the process. Now wait, how could this be? How could he be How could he be untying the boy here? But yet he this is where he got cut up. And the car was down there. So he had to have gotten... I don't understand how this happens. This is so cool though. We got a couple more scenes here. Okay, so the car's there. And these guys knew each other. So he's standing there with the old man and the crank is not in there. Does he have it in his hand? Oh, he's got a rock. So he's gonna knock him out, hit him in the head, then he ran him over. Now I'm so confused by this. I feel like a policeman, you know, trying to figure out how in the heck a wreck happened when you see a car flipped upside down, pointing the wrong direction on the highway. You're like, how did this happen? I don't know. Okay. Chronolo chrono chronology. So we're trying to figure out what order all this happened in. So tag. Oh. So I can go. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the first step. Hmm. Okay. So we have. We obviously know that the him down here. At this part is definitely the last one, right? Because he could, 
he couldn't be crawled back and forth around this, right? So we know this is the last one. So let's tag this six. And we'll make this one five. And this one four. Because he's not he's not cut up right there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. Before we go any further. Is this for sure the same dude? Okay, he's got... Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, look at the back. That pattern on his back of his jacket, that's definitely him. Okay, so... This has to be... The next one. Wait. Six, five, four, right? Yeah. Six, five, four. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We have three more steps here, and I don't know which one... Could be... Which now so he's got the rock and that one are in sequence together because he's got pick up the rock back there and he's got his hand here. So those two that's that one happened before this one. But the boy getting untied or tied up. You know what? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm looking at this all wrong. The old man is the guy that saved him. This guy, he's squatted down like, hey, dude, I just tied you up. What's going on? I think the old man untied him. And he gets knocked in the head over here. Because he hurt his, his head's hurt, right? And then he runs him over with the thing after he's dead. Or he's knocked out. Not, not necessarily dead, but knocked out. It's because he bleeds more. Okay, so let's say this is this is one. I'm gonna tag this as one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go down here. Let's make these two. Make this three right here. Three. Okay. Now push space to visualize. So let's see if let's see if I got it right. Okay. Number one. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Oh, what? Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is, now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. Well, he hit him there. Crawled away, didn't he? He wouldn't even knocked out. Ethan, run, goddamn it! Go! Oh, Get he out hit of him. He hit him with the thing, didn't he? Travis, close your eyes. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Did I get it right? I think I did. So the, they knew each other, but he did a terrible thing and tried to kill the boy, and the old man saved him. <sighs> he didn't want to have to do it, but he did it anyway. Okay, so... Is this going to lead me to another clue or something? What's going on here? Where are we going? Are you disappearing? You leave it? Oh, what's that down there? I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Prince, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. See, I thought this was a weird little scene right here. This little spot Whether right I had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. 
Yeah, this Age is helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Hmm. Okay, so first piece of the puzzle solved. Um, there's something crazy going on. Something that's controlling people. Something that's he the other guy called time, and it's it's uh. Yeah, I it's I don't really know here. Okay, so let's go on down the road here and see what's the next thing I can discover. Obviously, this is not. I think I'm okay. There was another path down there that leads back up, but I don't know if it's. I want to go back up here and see what's this direction. Ooh, this place is creepy. It's like awesome looking rocks, though. Boy, they did a good job on these rock on this. This game, it just looks so beautiful. It sounds like rope. What the heck was that? This place is creepy. Kind of have a little bit of a why here. Back to the track. Okay, yeah, so that that path comes back up this way. I remember coming up here earlier, and that's the rock slide that rocks off the track. So this leads to where? I think there'd be a crossing here or something. I guess it's just lights. What do you think about horror games in general? I wouldn't necessarily call this one a horror game, but it's definitely on the darker side. It's a murder mystery. And it's probably got some supernatural elements in it. I mean, it looks like that there's something, I don't know, Twilight Zone-ish going on here. I gotta say, playing horror games is 10 times creepier to me than watching movies because you feel like you're really in the thing. and your actions it's not you just sitting there watching it passively you're actually actively trying to save your own life it's very cool very that one's five minutes faster I haven't played very many of them I've played uh, Dead Space and let's see um, I've got I've got Fear, which is like a first-person shooter horror game. I guess uh, I guess both of those are that way. Um, well, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, Dead Space is uh, third person, but it's still a basic. It's still a shooter. Do I stick to the tracks, or do I go down the little path? Go the path. Makes me wish speaking of mist. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. 
Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Like I was saying, I, um, I absolutely love the Myst games and the lore of that, and I wish they would come out with a new, modern version that looks as stunningly beautiful as this kind of game, you know? wonder where this is supposed to be. This looks like maybe it's, um, the, uh, North Pacific or something. I mean, uh, like, West Coast, like Oregon, Washington State kind of area, maybe. It probably said in the beginning of the game, and I just wasn't paying attention. Well, if they hid clues out in the middle of the woods, you could be spending a ton of time looking for them. Which I may end up doing. It's weird where they decide to put crossings and where they don't. Let's take a little detour and go across this bridge here. This town. It looks like a town up there anyway. It's visually so stunning. It's a little running because I'm tired of walking. The game this reminds me of a little bit is um, wow, that's gorgeous. Is uh, Eco on the PS2 and um, Shadow of the Colossus is kind of the unofficial sequel to that. They're coming out with a new game. If you've seen any E3 trailers for new games coming out, but they've they've been trying to develop the third in the series of games for a very long time. Um, called The Last Guardian. These, this entire game series has had a very rocky history. I mean, games that were going to be put on a one system and get, get pushed back and pushed back so long that they get pushed to another system, and that's happened twice now. Original Eco is going to be a original PlayStation game. Wow, look at the detail of that dirt. God, I just can't get over how visually beautiful this game is. But, um, you got pushed back so far that it ended up getting released on the PlayStation 2. But they had to completely revamp the graphics of the game in order to put it on that platform. So it ended up being much better graphics, obviously. But, uh, so it was better off. But it took forever for it to come out. And obviously we didn't know it was coming out, so it wasn't like it was a wait for that one. But people who have heard about and seen videos and stuff of, uh, of the, uh, the new one has been waiting for so long for it to come out so they could play it. And it, like the other one, it was almost abandoned. It may have even been abandoned at one point, if I can remember correctly. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it got pushed back so far. They, they had they had it so close at one point that they actually had, um, you could pre-order it on Amazon and a few other places. Is that a dog bowl or something there? What is that? But, um, ooh, here we go. So, uh, it got pushed back to now. It's going to be on the PlayStation 4. And I saw the first fully teaser trailer of it. Um, they released it's E3. And the sad thing is, I have just about given up on consoles. Just about. I mean, unless I suddenly become a, ooh, note, become a, a rich entrepreneur. 
I want to spend all my money on computers and not on uh, consoles anymore, so... Okay, it's a photo. There's Ethan. There's the old man's grandpa. And it's people we don't know. I don't know if that guy on the second from the right may look like the dude that got his legs chopped off. I'm not sure. On the day the photo was taken, Dad was sad, Travis was loud, Uncle Chad was mean, Mom was mad, Grandpa's quiet. Oh, here's your text. So maybe this is their house, since there's a picture of him in here. That looks treacherous. Did you bring a flashlight with you, dude? Man, how long has it been? Is this crime like a... Uh... Okay, this dude is riding... You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Maybe this is the old Grandiv... Grandivith... Grand... Grandivith... Grand... Grandiv... Grandivith... Fan... The old house. And... Where he was snooping and he took the picture with him. Left it here, see? See how I think? So maybe we're looking for a secret room in here. Boy, that's dark. I'm gonna turn up the... Brightness so y'all can see what's going on. Ooh, I can't hardly see it myself, and I know it's got to be darker for y'all, so. Uh, real quickly, options, graphics, uh, brightness. Let's put it up. Yeah, it's a little better. Let me zoom. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a basic room. There's a book that I can't do anything to. That looks more realistic anyway. That light's just blindingly shining in the window. Yeah, looks very realistic. I may turn it back down when we get outside. I don't know. We'll see. I need a hot key for it. Secret you can room. feel it, right? Ooh. Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. The sleeper. That's the thing that people keep talking about. The sleeper. The sleeper. They know about the sleeper. It's something they've known about. He disturbed something that happened here. Oh, this is creepy. 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 Alright, so. Go upstairs in the main room here. Wait, did I go in here yet? No. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. He walked into a room. Hmm. It's got to be upstairs, right? I don't fall through the dagon floor. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. Well, I'd say it's real, considering the fact that it's affected everyone to the point where they want to kill people. There's that sign again. It's like a peace sign without a circle. But I have a feeling it doesn't mean peace. All right, third floor. Oh, wait. Ooh, a little ramp up. That's kind of an interesting floor plan. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Is Travis the dude that tried to kill him? Gosh, I'm so terrible with names. 
You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're hmm. crazy. You've all gone crazy. Don't see any rooms in here. That's the outside wall. That's a big spider web. Went there already. Okay, so let's go up to the third floor. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's where I came through. In the attic, actually. Wonder if that's the room. Yeah, I'm thinking so. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Ethan's family blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere, in the wind. These are all real books. Feeling I'll get nothing out of this place, but just uh, a little bit of a clue about what's going on in the story. Yep, so let's move on. Let's see if the brightness is too bright out here. Ah, it's not too bad. So let's see. Um, I can go down that little house. I still can go up to that house up on the hill. I walked past it when I came in. This is like maus mausoleums or something, don't they? Maybe it's some kind of pump house or something. I don't know. Maybe this is their house. See, what I don't get is uh, the, the crime we found seemed to be pretty recent. The blood was still there. Body wasn't ravaged by anything. Oh, look at all that. Um, the, let's see, what other evidence did I come across that it was fairly recent? Um, I'm trying to remember. For some reason, I thought it was not too long ago that it happened. But yet, these houses look like they haven't been lived in, in in decades. So, is this? Am I arriving at this thing way, way, way past the fact? After the fact? All questions I have. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids. Destroyer of ships and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me. Great. Oh, I don't want to read this out loud. This is creepy. Great minister, somebody or another. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my passions. Use the doors of confusion to do dode their judgment. Seal the path with. Why am I trying to read this when I get to hit the space bar? Uh, where was I? Seal the path with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglon tet Tetragram Vich Oh, this, that's, uh That's Latin It's a prayer Emmanuel Sabbath Adonai 
Tiaro it T in vocal. Amen. That's a that's a prayer. Oh. Did I say that out loud? Did I just open up a gateway to somewhere? Holy crap, dude. Am I seeing through a window of time again? Or is this... What? Did I go back in the house? This is the same house again. in the heck that just happened here I just got transformed uh, transplant trans uh, I got teleported to another the other house what well, seems this place seen better days okay folks that's it for this episode we'll figure out what this creepy uh passageway thing is all about here on the next episode thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe comment if you liked it let me know if you want to see more of these crazy games and uh yeah man peace out bye bye